Um, well, I guess it being over actually, but um, <laughs> I was really, yeah, but I was really happy with it. So it was always nice to finish the collection. Yeah, yeah, as far as I can see. Yeah. Great. What's the key inspiration and influence to your collection? Um, well, I started looking at sort of elements of immediacy and um, sort of something that was really integral to me. So I looked at my own wardrobe and took details from garbage bags um, and you know DIY references from around the house okay. and reconstructed my wardrobe with those elements mixed in. Um, and then I, took, I looked at sort of French 70s um, fashion and looked at uh, Tina Chow as a muse and took the colour, the rust colour and the petrol colour from those references. So it was a kind of clash of trash and, and old school luxury. Okay, okay. Um, what were the key materials that you used in your collection? There was a lot of cotton tulle, predominantly actually tulle, and then wool, wool and plaid, then silks and velvet and moiré taffeta. Okay. And um, what are the major trends that people should be keeping an eye out for? Um, I think the long length silhouettes is going to be something that's pushed this season by a lot of people. Um, just because I think people are sick of seeing short skirts. It just gets, I guess, it's become a bit boring. So. Um, I guess I, I wanted to do something that was new but still showed leg and was light, so hence using tool for the long skirts. Any, any, uh, any other designers that you're keen to see? Um, yeah, I mean, I'd love to see Jonathan Saunders and Christopher Payne, but I, I don't think I would be some of the parents, but I, I would do. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know how all the time you drove her away?